92% of all of the solar cells that are being manufactured now are made of crystalline uh, silicon. Perovskites are exciting compared to conventional semiconductors used in solar cells. Uh, perovskite refers to a certain crystal structure. Some of the great advantages of, of perovskites are that they are uh, a thin film uh, technology and can be easily printed on plastic substrates, very flexible, lightweight substrates. We report the discovery of a new perovskite semiconductor with a small band gap. We were able to use it along with another perovskite that has a high band gap to make a tandem solar cell. Uh, one of these solar cells absorbs high energy photons, so that's blue and green uh, light. It uses this to, to generate a high voltage. And then the, the second solar cell, uh, which has a much smaller band gap, absorbs lower energy light, such as the red and the infrared. When you stack these together, you sum up their voltages and you can reach a higher performance than you ever can for a single uh, solar cell, so we can have that combination of low cost and highest possible performance. I'm very optimistic that we will have panels with efficiencies above 25%. We already have 20% when these materials are optimized. We're going to be able to get a world record efficiency of 30% in uh, three to five years.